Hey YouTube, Tom itself here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to automatically duck your live streaming audio, just like a DJ. When you start talking, the music gets turned down into the background, and when you stop talking, it gets turned back up. Pretty cool, and gives you a lot more flexibility in what you do with your live streaming music. There are three reasons I really like this method. First, it lets me keep everything organized into playlists so I can set things up ahead of time or go back afterwards and see what I used without having to watch the stream. Second, I can use other plugins with either OBS or XSplit to automatically show the song info right on the stream, letting people know what the song is so they don't have to ask. Third, what I'm listening to doesn't get ducked also, and so I can listen to a different audio mix. I know that having my music suddenly go away when I start talking would really mess with me when I'm trying to talk. Or maybe I just don't want to listen to music at all myself. This live streaming audio tutorial picks up where my last one left off. I'm going to assume that you have VST host working along with most of the plugins. We're going to be using a lot of the Reaper plugins that are free. We're also going to be using Winamp and a VST host for Winamp. And you'll also need a program to automatically put the song info into a text file if you want that scrolling across your stream as well. All right, first thing we're going to do is set up the music ducking in VST host. Probably the coolest part of this and what you're here to see. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is set up the wave inputs. Uh, for this, I'm going to use my headset microphone and we're going to output to that internal output that it, my streaming program is picking up. And that looks good. Next, I'm going to come into the configuration and make sure that I have no channel selected for my inputs on inputs one and two. But for three and four, I'm going to have my microphone selected. All right, that looks good. Next, what we're going to do is come in and grab the music that's coming in. And for that, I'm using this streaming plugin. And uh, as you might have guessed, I've already got the other end of this set up. And all I need to do is type in the name. And suddenly, it's picking up the audio that I'm playing with uh, Winamp right now. All right, that looks good. Next, we need to grab a gate plugin. There it is. And I'll connect that to both the engine input and the streaming plugin. Now, <laughs> this, this is pretty cool. First thing I'm going to do is set my auxiliary input to be the detector input. That's pretty cool. And then I'm going to set the threshold. I'm going to be quiet for just a second and see where I need to put that. All right, that should do just fine. I'm going to set the... Uh, the timing parameters here for my gate that's triggered based on my when I speak. Uh, so I'm going to turn the hold up a fair amount and that release is going to be fairly high too. All right, so right now what's happening is that when I speak and the detector is active, that's when it lets the music through. But uh, that's not what we want. We kind of want it the other way around. So what we do is this uh, little checkbox, invert gate or duck. What it does is it inverts the waveform that it outputs. It still doesn't make any sense, I know. So what we do is we turn this slider up so that the dry input, the unprocessed audio, is coming out at full volume. Now, when we play the regular audio with the inverted audio on this wet slider, suddenly they cancel each other out. And when the gate is active, then the music doesn't play. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And if I want a little bit of background music while I'm talking, I can just turn this down a little bit. And suddenly when I start speaking, the music ducks into the background. And when I stop speaking, it comes back. Okay, finally, what I need to do is connect this to my output. I have to be kind of careful about this. Uh, it's really easy to screw up the volume levels and have the music either be, well, especially the music be way too loud or just you can't hear it. You have to be pretty careful. It takes some testing. Uh, this little number down here, once I connect the output, you'll see it change, and that is useful in trying to gauge where things are. I know this is going to be loud, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the output down a little bit already before I connect that. But finally, when I connect the output to the result of my gate, suddenly now you can hear the background audio, and then when I stop speaking, it comes back. Pretty cool. I am <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. Okay, next let's set up the VST plugin in Winamp. First, we're going to need the Winamp VST host, link in the description. But once you've got that installed, it'll show up under the Preferences, Plugins, DSPs, and Effects right there. And we will configure the plugin. I've already got it going, but 
let's uh, let's go ahead and show you what's going on instead. We'll load the DLL, and we want the restream program. All right, that's great. I need to name this the same thing as what I had on the other end. So uh, I think it was a Winamp. And if I play, then it'll come through. I need to set this to send, and then local broadcast. And that should come through. And okay, that's good. Close this and let's go away. I'll have to reactivate that VSD plugin every time I launch Winamp. But otherwise, it seems to work quite well. All right, and finally, for the scrolling song text, there are lots of different ways to do this. Uh, what I'm using right now is called Snip, another link in the description, and all it's doing is pulling the title info from in Winamp, sticking it in a text file, and then I'm loading that text file up in OBS. This would work pretty much exactly the same in XSplit. I tried AMIP, but it doesn't support Unicode, and OBS expects Unicode. There's probably a workaround out there, but anytime I ran into any kind of special characters, it didn't work right, so I, I went to this. But again, there are lots of solutions out there, and just find one that works for you.